Well, take a look at this little truck. The goal is to fill a big one, just like it, with items for needy families in the tri-state. It's little here, but we've got a couple of big ones around the tri-state. And Ted Neckel and Chris Olson are here from Frame USA, who started the Fill the Truck Charity Drive. And good morning. It's good to have you both with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us on. Well, you know, we always hear about the toy drives, guys, but really, this is beyond toys, because people need these personal care items. Tell us a little bit about that, Ted. Well, it, in these struggling times, people need items that, like, like toothpaste and socks, because really uh, food stamps can't buy some of these personal care items and critical needs items. And Chris, tell us too about this, some of the specific items. I know you have some things here on the table that you're looking for. Right. Um, what we're looking for are a lot of personal care and hygiene items. So things like toothpaste, socks, coats, um, really just a lot of things that you would need to keep you warm throughout the years, um, personal care and hygiene items. Now what we really want are people to go to fill the truck Dot org for a list of all 34 items that we're collecting for Fill the Truck. And again, that's fillthetruck.org. And you know, too, because this is in new packaging, you really want these items to be new. We do. We want them all to be new. The only thing that we're accepting that isn't new are slightly used coats just to keep people warm for the season. And we're looking here at Frame USA video because that's where you guys are from, Frame USA, and you started this a couple of years ago to try to make a difference. How is this making a difference for the Healing Center? Well, really, it's, it's a huge difference. Last year, we collected over 833 boxes that lasted about six months. This year, we have 11 trucks and 11 charities, and it's going to last approximately five years. And we're going to be delivering those tr trucks in about 11 days. So, oh, Wow. How is it going so far, Chris, with the donations that's so, coming in? So far, we're off to a great start. We have a lot of the trucks that are about um, near, some of them are even nearly 20% full. But again, we really need everybody's help. Last year, we had profound a lot of the community stepped up and really helped us and we need help again this year we have 11 trucks to fill and because you have increased the number of trucks too tell me about the items that people maybe say I can't buy it can they just make a donation to say hey we want you to get them if possible yeah we made the website extremely easy for donations in addition to just being able to go within two clicks purchase items you can make cash donations for us and all of the money goes straight to the charities there's absolutely no administrative cost in this whole entire campaign but before we go again t tell us where people can go to look at this list to see what's needed and how they can make donations you can either go to www.fillthetruck.org and look at the donations on our website or you can actually go to Frame USA, which is right near Tri-County Mall, and we have a list of items in there, or you can actually bring items to the store. And we also give you a discount on, our, on your framing if you do bring those items in. So a little perk for giving. A little, little plus one there. <laughs> All right, and you can go to our website too, WCPO.com, for more information on Fill the Truck this year. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, and happy holidays. Thank you.